Thank you. All right, we got the coffee here. We're drinking it. It's really good. It's really good. Really good. It's really good. So today we have a busy day, hence why we're drinking some uh, some primo stuff. We're actually going to go meet up with a friend of mine named Connor Pletcher from Athens, Georgia. And we, if you know, we are from Athens, Georgia. He's a musician who kind of is making his way out here in LA. And as you may or may not know, Matthew is a is a musician himself or a singer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's awesome, like to wake up every day and um, expect good things to happen and the right people to come into your life. Like I'm just waiting. Like every day, I'm expecting that to happen, and it keeps happening. Um, I, when Tim was talking with Connor yesterday, I just felt like, man, I need to reach out to this guy. I need to meet this guy, and uh, we're gonna go meet up with him today. So yeah, when you live a surrendered life, when you live a life expecting God to do good things for you, that's what you get because he wants to give it to you. And uh, yeah, just be open every day. So yeah, we're gonna meet up with Connor. We also uh, have a lot going on with our Oregon retreat coming up May 28th. Uh, really excited about that. If you uh, yeah. wanna jump on board, email yeah, I just, us. I just got off the phone with, uh, with a uh, guy from Oregon. And he's talking about some epic hot springs, some really, a really cool place called the Blue Pool. We're gonna go check out, so yeah, it's gonna be epic. Yeah, gonna be there. Rob Ross at gmail.com, and here's the scene at this place, this coffee shop, Abbott Kinney. Uh, it's a really high end coffee shop, so we're pretending to be high end today. So, I just uh, we just got back to the car from our expensive coffee, and I got <laughs> a new expense actually a $73 ticket, parking ticket. There's sw uh, street sweeping. Just so happens to be the hour that we parked here. So what does that mean? What it means is there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity for your day to be ruined, but there's an opportunity to turn it over and just keep going. Just surrender. And just be like, God, I'm not gonna let this get me down. You know, that's really that's where the rubber hits the road. It's not when everything's going good. It's when things happen that you yeah. don't like. Yeah. You really get to decide, do I believe that God is still good? Even little park, even parking tickets. Yeah, it's actually, I'm actually kind of grateful for this because I, I felt like today I was starting to get, trying to take real control over my life. Mm -hmm. And it's little reminders like this that remind me that I am not in control of my life. God all is things, surrender. All things work together for good. All things. Wow. Even parking tickets. What's up guys, it's uh, about midday. Just had a Skype session with uh, one of the girls that attended our big serve retreat, Melissa DeLuca, what's up? She's awesome. And then I came out here, listened to some worship music and I uh, see Matt just in uh, deep reflection sitting on this balcony. Yeah, just putting down some words to some songs and uh, gonna go meet with Connor later on today. And you know, one thing he encouraged me to do is to write every day. Um, just write down your thoughts and you know for me the best way to write is I've never been a big journaler or anything like that um, but for me I can write out what I'm feeling in a song so that's what I'm out here doing and uh, yeah it's um, <laughs> it's a good thing to do it's a good thing to get your thoughts on paper in whatever way you have to um, I encourage anyone that's struggling up here in your mind to uh, take some time go in a quiet place and and write down what you're feeling, whether that's poetry, um, songwriting, journaling, whatever. Uh, there's just something about the connection with pen to paper that just uh, helps your heart bleed a little bit. And that's a good thing, so. Helps your heart bleed, man. And uh, I'm not sure what, how I feel about these yachts out here. They're, they're kind of cool to look at, but I kind of feel sad for the people who own them. To me, they, instead of a, a floating device, they look like a big anchor to me. <laughs> all right all right so we are here with Connor Pledger now this is a really cool story because Connor is from our hometown and he's a friend of mine and uh, he seems to be making some way out here in LA rightfully so because his music's awesome if you've ever heard it we played it on some of our videos actually but uh this is Connor hello <laughs> and that is you know that guy and right now, Matt is about to sing Connor some of his songs. And you're going to listen to it. And I get that from my dad. And I can overreact when I get mad. And I put up walls to 
could show the world I'm tough. But every now and then, I feel a little soft. So when it comes to love me, I'm telling you, girl, it ain't gonna be easy. And I can be a real SOB. And sometimes all I do is think about me. And that's when I need you to help me see that I got everything I need. To be my lighthouse on the coast, be my safe place to go, be my strength when I've got nothing left, be my compass. All right, Connor's going to play us a little piece here. All right, so we're here, we're going to Whole Foods, and uh, I'm hungry. These guys don't eat, especially, I'm eat. I don't know. especially Matt. I'm, all right, Connor eats, but this I guy right ate, here. I just ate in the car. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna have to get on his diet though. Because I don't know what Timothy's schedule is gonna be every day. It's like, well, I wanna work out maybe around 12, or maybe I wanna work out around six. Like, I gotta have it planned out. I gotta have some kind of plan. Timothy, no, no plan. Whole Foods, let's check it out. We're in Studio City, I think. You want to know what we eat? <laughs> I'll show you. We got some greens. This is a little Whole Foods action here and a little chicken thighs, a little pokey tuna. And I eat boys like this for breakfast. <laughs> Anti-inflammatory oh, yeah. green juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, we actually, who's that guy? I, I can't remember his name. We just met this. Jason Swartzen. We just met Jason Swartzen in uh, Whole Foods. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little, put you out to, to dry a little bit for a second. So I, I've come into this encounter a few times and there's someone famous in a grocery store or just in our vicinity. And usually there's a few people who are like, um, I don't wanna go talk to him. But that's the, that moment of deciding, well, why not? Why wouldn't we go talk to him? I'm sure he's a nice guy. And anyway, we went to go talk to him and he was a nice guy, we got a picture with him, and I think it probably added value to his day. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> anyway, the point of the story is, you gotta recognize fear, recognize when you're being used by it. All right, so we're just having some lunch here, debating about this uh, topic of whether or not, what's his name? I keep forgetting. Jason Schwartzman, whether famous people like to be approached and asked for photos or not, or if they like their privacy. And my theory is that um, they might not get approached nearly as much as we think because everyone's thinking that they get approached all the time and they don't do it. And there's also the, the opinion that um, the guy probably wants his privacy with his kid and not to disturb him. What do you think to approach or to not approach celebrities in the grocery store. I'd, I'd like to throw it a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay, so, so for me, my theory is that it all depends on the level of their success. So if you are a massive celebrity uh, and everybody, like even if they don't know your work, they're like, oh, you're that dude from the thing. Like if somebody said that to you, I, I feel like maybe that's not as uh, great of a feeling as, hey, you're the guy, and, and they actually list what you're in. Um, so like it's different levels. And then say, 
say, uh, for example, the Rob Ross. I'm I'm sure, like if you if you ask them, if they enjoy being noticed, like for myself, I'm not a, I'm not a famous dude, but if I am noticed by somebody, it's like, oh, you're kind of whatever. Like, oh, that, uh, wow, you actually noticed me. It's, it's it's crazy. Like it's 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 exciting and it's it's weird, you know. And and uh, I enjoy that, but I assume that. If I was, we might like, have to go. We're not, <laughs> yeah. All, all I know is I want to be famous so that I can know that there's going to be people like us sitting around talking about me, like this. about whether we care, about whether you give a crap about me or not. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have to cut it off there, guys. Vlog <laughs> can only last for so long. What do you tell us? What you think? Comment below.